I grew up on Cape Cod, Massachusetts, in Truro and Provincetown. So my parents were very involved in the arts. So I was exposed to the arts from a very, very early age. Um, I became fascinated with film because of a little movie theater in Provincetown called The Movies, um, where they played incredible uh, films from all over the world. So at a very young age, in my very, very early teens, um, and even before, I was watching the Italian realist films, um, you know, the great German films, uh, Herzog and uh, Fritz Lang and uh, uh, Japanese, Akira Kurosawa, um, and um, I became fascinated with filmmaking. Um, when I was about 14 years old, I saw Swept Away, which is directed by a woman named Lena Wertmuller. And something really struck me about that film, besides the fact that I really, really loved it, and that was that it was directed by a woman. And that really inspired me um, a lot. Uh, I grew up with four older brothers, and I was very um, at ease in a world of men. My early uh, childhood was spent in Puerto Rico, which is a very, um, you know, Latin male <laughs> um, kind of um, an environment. So I was very familiar with machismo and, um, and very at ease with it. Um, I had a very tender father who was a geophysical oceanographer and a photographer mother. Um, and they really made me believe from a very young age that I could do anything I wanted to. Uh, so as time went on, I made a decision that I wanted to pursue filmmaking. After I graduated from uh, Wellesley College, I applied to the University of Southern California, the film school for grad school, and um, went through, was accepted and went through their five-year uh, graduate uh, program in directing. Um, by, the, uh, by the time I uh, by the time I graduated, in fact, before I even graduated, I was already greenlit to direct a $2 million feature film with um, huge A-list actors like Sean Bean and Pete Postlethwaite and Emily Lloyd and a top British crew. Um, the film went, was screened at Cannes Film Festival and it was released um, theatrically all around the world. Um, and then I came back to Los Angeles. I signed with a William Morris agency and basically never worked again. Um, I wanted to say that growing up in Puerto Rico and on Cape Cod, which are incredibly beautiful places, I had a very, very active dream world. I loved dreaming, daydreaming, and dreaming at night. And when I first saw movies, they f seemed a lot like dreams to me. They were the closest thing that I could come to dreams. And I think that that inspired um, my desire to become a filmmaker, to find a way to recreate dreams um, that you could share with other people.